Mine flew into the window. What else? I just slept for 12 hours straight and had like a really vicious dream cycle. Please! Marty was silent for three days straight. And then he started back up again yesterday. I don't know what it was. Like he was just like dead quiet being such a good boy for like three days. And then yesterday he was like, psych bitch. What'd you think I was gonna like let you like be, be relaxed? No. Caramel vanilla almond milk creamer. Oh god. Mornings are hectic, okay? Like the fucking animal. I had a I had like a wicked breakdown yesterday for like two hours because I was stressed out over my fucking animals. I can't wake up with peace. I can't go out through, throughout the day with peace. There's cat fur everywhere all the time and there's bird shit everywhere all the time and he destroys everything he touches. You know, like every day there's always some sort of destruction pile that he's been working on. So yesterday I was cleaning up one of his destruction piles and it just hit me. I was like, oh my God, I'm so depressed. But it's okay. And so yeah, there's no such thing as a peaceful morning. The bird's screaming. Roger's underneath my feet. Phoebe's waiting on the counter. For her food. silence more than possibly anything. That's all I want is silence. Will I ever get granted si silence? Who, who knows if I'll ever get granted to the shot. I went to my friend Connor's house. Y'all know Connor. I went to Connor's house the other day to watch the, um, I bought a virtual ticket to Will Huddy's concert. <laughs> I fucking love Will Huddy. He put on a great show. Great guy, I had a great time. But at that, that point I was a bottle of wine deep so I vented to Connor about all of my problems and asked him for his advice and like, cause I'm just like, where's my babe? Keep that in mind. Where's my babe? Keep it in mind. <laughs> I'm just so sick of feeling like this all the time and I want, I want answers like so bad. Um, I'm sick of, the air being ripped out of my lungs if somebody walks past me. I'm sick of profusely sweating and trying to find ways to get out of a conversation instead of listening to what the person's saying while someone tries to talk to me about the weather. Um, I'm sick of having to black out before I hang out with somebody and meet them for lunch. Like, it's just not fun anymore. And like, I understand that I'm an introvert and like, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with spending most of my time alone because that's what I enjoy. I'm just mad that like, I can't handle like the once a week, like let's go out to lunch. Let's, let's go out to dinner with these people. Let's go hang out with somebody. And I have to black out first because I'm so scared. Like, I'm just sick of that. Like I'm okay with being alone most of the time, but like, <laughs> Jordy, Jordy texting me, hey there, with heart eye emoji. <laughs> Oh, what, you hear me? I was sending like manic audio messages to a boy last night and Jordy was in his room and he texted me and he was like, Tara, are you just walking around your room like looking at anything that you can find and making an audio message about it? And I said, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. But Connor gave me small points of suggestions. He said, you should probably quit your vape because in the long run it makes you more anxious. And I was like, I've never even thought about that before. Like you're right, like I'm gonna wean myself off of it. Haven't even tried to wean myself off of it, okay? He also told me to get, well, he didn't tell me. I want medication, but you know, <clears throat> I don't, like, I don't need to be medicated throughout the entire day. Like, I just, ugh. you know, I don't want this so-called medication to like change my personality or like change my energy level. And I just have a lot of questions. So I was seeking out a therapist yesterday for hours only to realize that a therapist can't actually prescribe you medication that's a psychiatrist. I, you know, <laughs> so I'm taking the first step. Are you Tara? <clears throat> I got one of these fucking rock things. Damn hippies, like what is this? 
I understand the concept, but I actually looked up the definition like a few days ago and it was like, helps relieve puffiness, stress, demons. I'm like, Whoa. okay, I don't know if it does all that, but it makes me less puffy for like five seconds or that's just my brain tricking me and I'm just rubbing a rock on my face for no fucking reason. I had a really bad day yesterday and like, I've had a bad like four days and I just like haven't done anything and like was just going through the motions. Ew, I hate talking about like like me being sad. I don't know. I hate talking about it, but um, yeah, I was pretty miserable the past four days and I just like tried to not film as much as I could because I wanted to like be refreshed and shit. Um, but you know what? Fuck that. <clears throat> Vlogging makes me feel better because I'm already thinking of all these things we can do together today that I'll actually do because I want to impress you guys whenever you're in front of me. So I'm like, everything that I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do. So we have a whole list on our agenda. Oh no, another 40 minute vlog. <laughs> Great. I'm always very concerned with how I look. <clears throat> and I'm actually going on um, vacation with a cute boy in like a week? Oh my god, is that in a week? I'm literally gonna lose my mind. We've been talking a lot, so like I'm hoping I'm not like as nervous when when I see him. I was saying I was saying it to myself last night, I was like, you've known him your whole life. And that's the mentality that I'm gonna have the whole time, so I don't literally scratch my skin off of my body and consume 17 bottles of wine every day. Um, cause uh, the second time we hung out, I went back to Boston recently and we got to hang out, and the second time we hung out, I drank three bottles of wine, because I was so nervous, and then asked him all sorts of questions that I didn't remember the next day. And then the next day I was like, so where'd you go to college? And he was like, we talked about this in depth yesterday. Do you have, what he asked me? He asked me if I had fucking <clears throat> Alzheimer's. I was like, no, I just, I just drink when I'm nervous. <laughs> um, but I'm very concerned with how I look, so I'm like going through the, oh yeah, is that in a week? Sorry, my scatterbrained. Oh wow, that's in a week. Boom. <laughs> Going on vacation with Cupid in a week. <laughs> so I'm not consuming a drop of alcohol because alcohol makes me ugly um, and anxious in the long run. <clears throat> I've been working out every day, but I do that pretty much anyways. And I'm tanning every day and drinking like a gallon of water <laughs> so that I'm hot when I see him. Like what? Who cares? I've decided that I'm gonna start wearing sports bras underneath my clothes, because I don't wear bras. Um, but whenever I'm like going to the gym and I'm wearing like a sports bra under my t-shirt, I feel so much better, because I don't have my tits like bouncing around and looking crazy, like, I hate that. I love flat chests. If I could do a boob reduction, even though I really don't need one, I would. Okay, I have the world's tiniest tits, but I want them smaller. So I'm gonna start compressing the, the B cups that I do have. Actually, well, you know, they could be pushing A. You know, that's how small they are. And I'm like, I want a boob reduction. I do. So I'm gonna start compressing them with sports bras underneath large t-shirts so it literally looks like I have nothing there. Right? If I can control one thing in my life, I'll have it be my tits. Goodbye, girls. You're done. You're done. See, like, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Gorgeous girls eat soup. I'm so crazy. I was like eating soup the other day and I texted the boy that I like and I was like, I was like, hot, loyal, smart girls eat soup. I'm eating minestrone. Like, shut up. Please shut up. You're not funny. You're not cute. Shh. I crave silence more than possibly anything. I was just saying, if there was a genie in my bedroom, these would be my three wishes. Um, silence. Um, only being able to speak to three people for the rest of my life. And... Endless gallons of vodka <laughs> without getting puffy. Oh my God, to drink without getting puffy the next day. That's my wish. I've been wearing this shirt for like days, but I really don't care. I'm gonna wear it again. I'm just gonna throw on a pair of jeans with my new, my new tit reduction. That's really happening for me right now. Great outfit. aggressive and large.
I'll stop talking. I have a few errands to run right now and I'm gonna make you guys come with me so that I do all of them. Not like they're hard errands. I'm like, I need to get a... <laughs> First we have to go to Target because my my charger for like my vibrators broke and I'm just gonna like keep thinking that it was the charger. I think my vibrator might have broke. But I'm not gonna have that negative thought. Cause y'all think I'm angry and stressed out now. You shouldn't see me without having at least one orgasm every two days in my system. I'm checking my bank account right now. So judging by the expression on my face, in five seconds you'll know about how much I have. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Um, I also need to get a disposable camera because I have one, but I haven't used it in a really long time. So it's probably just filled up with photos of my ex-friend group. So I want one for, f for my little vacation in a week because I'm not gonna be like vlogging or going on TikTok or going on Instagram. I'm not doing any of it the entire time I'm there um, to give myself a little refresher, a little breather. So I'm gonna get a disposable camera so I can like capture some moments. You know, whatever that means. I don't even want to know what's on my other disposable camera. I don't want to fucking know. <laughs> very disappointed in me <laughs> like I could give you a haul right now of the stuff that I just bought at the store um but honestly I already own all of it right like this is the kicker okay like just listen to me right here every week I'm like okay I'm gonna go back to the store and get the basics because I need the basics I already have all the basics I don't need any more white t-shirts I don't need any more gray t-shirts um fucking gray sweatpants gray hoodies I have it all and still, that's all I buy, because I have no flavor, no style, and no vibe. I'll show you what I got. I've been incorporating browns into my life. Well, I've been buying them, but I haven't actually been wearing them. There's really nothing to say about it. Like, like great piece. I just like, my thing is, my thing is like, I, I can't, I always get sad that I like don't wear anything that's cool. Um, I don't really have like a sense of style. Um, I love shopping and stuff, but like, I don't like wearing things out of the house that are like out of my comfort zone. Um, one of those things being like revealing clothing, um, or pretty much anything with taste cause it makes me anxious. And right now in my life, I'm just trying to find things that make me relaxed and at peace. So I'm not even gonna try to go out of my comfort zone anymore with clothes until I'm ready, okay? Like, I can't wear tank tops anymore. Um, I can't wear anything that like shows my like, like right here. Um, dresses, I can't wear dresses. I can show my legs, but only if I'm wearing big shoes. So like my perfect outfit is like a hoodie, sweat shorts, and large sneakers. But y'all already knew. I did get a skirt. I was like, I could wear this with like a crew neck, but I feel like because a crew neck and the skirt are both like a cloth material, the crew neck would like hike up the skirt and then my ass would be out. So I don't really know about that one yet. A red t-shirt. What does it say on it? Electric Circus, New York, St. Mark's Place. Saturday, May 14th. 
8 p.m. to 2 a.m. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Green, I'm experimenting with different colors. Green t-shirt. Could you, like if you thought in your brain like the most basic thing that anybody could ever wear, this would come to mind. A Brandy Melville St. George white t-shirt. White shorts. I don't actually think I own any jean shorts. All the shorts that I own are sweat shorts. Like here's an example of like how much I'm not willing to dress up. Um, I see, say, okay, New Year's Eve is stressing me out, all right? Cause I have a crush on a boy and he has a crush on me. And I think I'm staying in Boston to like spend New Year's Eve with him. Um, but New Year's Eve is one of those things that I can't really participate in fully because I feel like New Year's Eve is one of those days that you have to dress up to go out. Like you're gonna be looked at like a weirdo if you don't dress up to go out for New Year's Eve, but I, I can't. I, I, I feel like New Year's Eve you have to wear like a sparkly dress of some sort or some sort of revealing like sparkly tank top, a skirt, heels, makeup, like I can't, like I really can't do that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping he suggests like one of his friends like parties. Like I can go to a party, but I can't go to a club on New Year's Eve because I can't dress up. I did try on a sparkly dress yesterday at the store. Um, it didn't go well. <laughs> I tried on three sparkly dresses just for shits and giggles. I was like, what if like I can do it now? I still can't do it. So craziest thing I bought. Okay, you ready? <laughs> One thing that's fun about crewnecks is like you can get like a like a fun crew neck with like you know stuff all over it like maybe a sports one, a New York City one, a band crew neck. I got a a plain gray crew neck with nothing on it, and I already own it. So and then I got underwear. I'm like holding up my delicacies on a pulled over on Santa Monica Boulevard. I'm like, then I got the... <laughs> and I got a green hair clip. Okay, green was definitely a vibe today. I got like four green things and a red thing. So that's good. Right? I used to only wear white because I was like so obsessed with being tan all the time. I say that while I'm like outside of my tanning salon. But I used to be so obsessed with being looking tan all the time that I would only wear white because it makes you look tanner. Um, but you know, it gets dirty and now I have a bird that shits all over me. So <laughs> I'm leaning more into like, you know, grays and, and reds and greens. It's fucking Christmas, baby. Look at this together, a little fit. No, girl. Also got two disposable cameras to take photos of Disney World and me and my boo. Ew. And he's like such a simp, it's like actually like scary. Like he just, <laughs> I said, what did I say to him? I said, I'm, I said, I just purchased 17 things at Brandy Melville. I'm going to hell and you're coming with me. And he said, anywhere you go, I'll go. I said, to hell? All right, what are we waiting for? He said, waiting on you. I've been literally giggling at my phone for like three weeks now, a month now. Tara has a crush. But this time the boy actually likes me back, I think. So that's the difference. That's the difference this time. The boy likes me back, I think. Because remember when I had that series called like Boy Problems and <laughs> there was boy number one and boy number two and you guys in the comments were just like, girl, they don't, they don't like you. Like, how can you not see that? And I was just like, shut up guys. Like, they're just like, you know, like quiet and like trying to play hard to get. Like, no, they don't, they didn't like you. That's what it was. That's, that's what it was. I just got food from the place that sold me the egg. If you know, you know. I will not be explaining further. My bird just flies away from me now every time I get mad at him. I'm like, you can't just fly away, my love. I clipped the wings, they didn't work. And you can't use the lip of salt to take What do you do without wings? Waddle well, around like little hopeless fuck. That's what you do with no wings. That's what you do. And you go the big and then you take your wings out. And then I cut them off. Woo! Woo! Yeah, he's my boy. He's my boy. He's my boy. He's a big damn 
Jason burned my life. I love my life. Step on my face. <laughs> I didn't mean actually step on my face. Goodbye. Goodbye. I tried to film it when I was leaving Earth Bar. Um, there was a dude walking down the road with a big parrot. And I was like, <laughs> same. <laughs> Woo! All I crave is silence in life. But sometimes I provoke it, and then I think that's what he he thinks I like. I like it. I enjoy his noise five minutes out of every day. I'm going to the gym. I'll I'll see you when I get back. I want a glass of wine more than potentially anything right now. Um, and I feel like I've gotten to like a good place with it. Seeing as though like, I mean, I definitely need it before, like I need to black out before I hang out with people. I've said that earlier, but like, I used to like try to drink alone. And when I mean alone, I mean like have a few glasses by myself and like relax and have a good night. But then like once I would have a glass of wine, I would like, call people and be like, let's go out. Like, let me seize this opportunity where I can finally talk to people because now that I'm tipsy, I can hang out with people. And I would use that as like, a, oh, let me go out. I have no urge to go out anymore. I don't care. I don't want to go out. I don't want to see anyone. So like recently I've just been like, I can have a few glasses of wine and then like hang out and just like go to bed and blah, blah, blah. But I still like beat myself up over it. Like the other day, like I had like three glasses of wine. I watched the voice or something and then I like went to bed or took a bath or something and it was great but I beat myself up over it the entire time especially the next day so I don't know if I'm gonna give in to my craving right now or force myself not to I really want one and it's not even bad like who cares like ugh. I don't want to like develop a bad relationship with <laughs> with like alcohol because I love drinking <laughs> sounds terrible but you, do you know what I mean like I can't have a glass of wine without beating myself about it beating myself up over it the entire time and I don't want to have to do that because that's stupid like it's not like I freak out anymore and I like call my friends and I'm like let's go out of the fucking town every time I drink now I don't do that I I think it's also because I text this cute boy now and he keeps me pretty occupied so whenever I drink wine all I want to do is sit on the couch and text the cute boy but I still, like, will cry about it for three days straight. So. I wish I didn't feel so brain dead all the time for no reason. That would be nice. Like, I'm one of those people that, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'll go through great phases of my life. Like, for example, summer 2020, and I know I can't hang on to, like, good parts of my life and just wish that it was like that again, but, like, I really not doing good and there's no real reason why like I guess there could maybe I should start journaling <laughs> right like I'm one of those people that like has all these things that I want to do and I think about all these things that I want to do and then it overwhelms me and I just end up staring at the wall I really don't do anything and I feel like the things that I used to enjoy too are the things that I still enjoy, like I just do them to do them now and I'm not actually enjoying like going to the gym, um, cooking, food, fucking reading, uh, watching my favorite TV shows, taking care of my animals, like those are things that make me happy but they just, I just do them to make sure I get them done now. So, I'm really excited to go to Disney in a week. I'm not gonna touch my phone. I'm not gonna touch social media. I'm going to literally not, I'm not gonna even enter the TikTok app. I'm not gonna enter the Instagram app. Well, maybe I'll post an Instagram story or two, but I'm excited to not, to not do anything that's related to social media for that entire week. I'm just gonna have my little disposable camera and I'm gonna go to town with that. That's all I'm gonna do. What I am sort of nervous about though is um, I have one disposable camera that I need to still use up the rest of uh, and then develop it when I get back from Disney and it's just gonna be like a whole roll of pictures of the Hustle Boys and I just don't wanna see that because I miss them so much. 
the shittiest thing about my LA experience so far has been making friends that moved here at the same time as me. So there was like these kids that I, that lived like on the East Coast with me and then we technically like moved together, like we moved within the same two weeks. And then the Hustle Boys, which I met when they first moved here in November. So we were both like fresh to LA. It's sad like watching LA change people and like not being able to do anything about it. And like at that point, it's just like, you know, what are you gonna do? So <laughs> watching LA taint people is the worst thing that's happened since I've lived here so far. Um, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like I wouldn't wait, like some people can handle it. Like I obviously handled it, I'm fine. But most people I've seen cannot handle like moving here. So I don't know if I would wish it upon anybody. I don't know if I would suggest it to anyone moving LA to pursue social media. I don't know if I would suggest that to a single person. Um, I just had the most awkward phone conversation I've ever had in my entire life. And I paced around my house more um, tonight than I probably have the entire time I've lived here. Um, <laughs> I just made lasagna noodles. I broke up lasagna noodles. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna have a glass of wine. After that phone call, I need a fucking glass of wine. No one's gonna say shit about it, okay? See, this is what I mean. Like, I was fully ready to like put my cravings to the side and like, nope. Things keep happening where I need, I need a glass of wine. But first, before we drown out our troubles, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the perfect flavor combination for just noodles, okay? Because I've been doing this for like four days now. All I've been eating is pasta. And then I ran out of pasta, so now I broke up the bunny noodles with a pan. And I had to cook them in a skillet. It's not going good over here. Oh, I can't wait to call my mother and tell her what just happened. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, first, I'm gonna let you know what I do. I do butter, onion granules, a vegan chicken bouillon cube, half of it. Get it from Whole Foods. Paprika, garlic salt. If you, I like my shit really salty. You can just use garlic powder if you want because I also use the chicken cube, which is very high in sodium, but I just love sodium. Jordy tells me that's probably why I'm bloated all the time, but I'm still convinced it's from the, the wine, you know? And then Italian seasoning, okay. <laughs> I'm so high stress, I'm so high strung right now. And then vegan Parmesan cheese. And it's the best pasta you'll ever have. I'll come back to you. I need to call my mother and tell her what just happened to me. Um, <laughs> um, Cause it's just never, it's never good over here, okay? So I'm gonna call my mom now. I'll be, I'll be back while I'm probably, you know, chugging wine. Cause I, my life is just completely, like I don't even know why or how this shit keeps happening to me, but it does, um, keeps happening. Hey Siri, FaceTime birth giver. Making a FaceTime. Took the bottle to my room. <laughs> Despite what just happened to me, um, let's play a little game, <laughs> okay? Smallest inconvenience that can make that can spiral tower into pouring yourself a glass of wine. Anything. Anything. Almost took myself to the bar though. I was like, you know what? Great excuse. No, it's not. Put your ass in bed. I locked myself in my room, but with a bottle of wine. So you know what? We're getting somewhere. Um, I'm sort of mad because the voice is on tonight and I'm, I, I'm, you know, I, I watch the voice. Okay. I'm very obsessed with the voice, if you will. And when it goes on Tuesdays, they like vote people off, but it, it's live at technically like five o'clock here. So it's airing on the East coast, but it airs at eight o'clock here. So I can't go on Instagram cause I'll see who get voted off. So I stayed off of Instagram all day, and then I accidentally just went on like five minutes ago and I saw who got voted off. But I mean like three people got voted off and I only saw one, but it was my favorite. And it was Jim and Sasha, Ariana's um, duo and father's on duo and I just can't. So that's another reason why I, this is completely acceptable right now. My life is insane. I wish I could tell you guys what just happened to me. I fucking wish. It's not even that dramatic. I just like... <laughs> I'll find anything to be the most dramatic thing on earth. But it actually was. Okay, like don't... I'm not gonna... Fuck. Uh -huh. I didn't even go to the Lakers-Celtics game today because I was like, no, because then I'll drink. 
<laughs> no, there I am. I mean, I mean, I'm happy I didn't go because then I would have received the phone call that I received at the game, and that wouldn't have been fun for me. So y'all are gonna think I'm out of my mind crazy. What moment will you always remember from your time on the show? Well, Ariana, you have helped me through wardrobe malfunctions, laryngitis, the list goes on and on, but my favorite moments with you have nothing to do with this show or you being our coach, you're just my friend, and I love you and I adore you in every moment, and memory of you, I will always hold so special to me, I think you're such an incredible person, and I wouldn't want to be here without you, and I think you're the greatest, and trans rights, shout out non-binary people, and I love you, Ari. Very impressive, Sasha, thank you, and Uh. <laughs> this bird wants to marry me and have my children, and I have no doubt about it. Psoriatic arthritis made my joints stiff, swollen, painful. Emerge Trenfiant. Trenfiant is approved to help reduce joint symptoms in adults with active psoriatic arthritis. And some patients even felt less fatigued. Serious allergic reaction. Oh, he's to say hi. <laughs> it never stops, if anyone was wondering. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Like, God forbid I have to, like, grab a sip of water. Can't wake up the baby. Earlier, Jordy asked me for my crush's... Jordy asked me for my crush's birth chart. I was like, I don't have my... Fuck, my crush's birth chart. I just don't. He goes, go on his Snapchat. I was like, okay, and he has his birth chart on Snapchat. And Jordy says that if you're a dude and you have your birth chart everywhere, or if you know your birth chart, that means you're a slut. So I just confronted him, because he also has a Scorpio moon, which, according to Jordy, is a bad thing. And I listened to Jordy. He said he's the furthest thing from a slut, holy cannoli. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, like, you have it on the Snapchat, what do you want me to believe? <laughs> well, you do know you're a Scorpion, Leo. <laughs> Shit, because it's on Snapchat. You have your full birth chart on Snapchat, like your 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 Venus, your Mars, your, your Mercury. <laughs> I know nothing about it, but I do find it interesting. I listen to Jordy. I could listen to Jordy talk about it for hours, and I'll be entertained. But he's very concerned about your <laughs> Scorpio moon, okay? And you have it, you have it published on Snapchat, so. I think you know a two a, a th what a thing or two about it. Um, Jordy's concerned, and so am I. Y'all put up a lot with me, huh? Yeah. I'm like, here's the college that I attended for two months until I got too depressed to continue going to classes, and I couldn't leave my my room. And you know what's funny? Like, <laughs> I was living in this house. Long story short, I was living in this house with like my boyfriend and then we broke up and we had like our bedroom But then he moved out because we broke up and there was this like closet ass bedroom like it was literally the size of like that Like I'm not even joking. We had a twin bed in there for like our drunk friends that would sleep over We were like 18 we threw parties all the time The room was like it was a twin bed and then literally this much space and I had to sleep in that room for like two months until I eventually moved out because I couldn't bear the thought of being in the bedroom where we used to sleep together. Like, relax, okay? I was so depressed I stopped going to classes. <laughs> I've went through a roller coaster of emotions today. What I'm ending with is... The only reason I'm giggling right now is because I had wine and I'm still sort of depressed. <laughs> I need to find some sort of purpose slash passion. Um, don't know what that is yet. And I'm honestly too depressed to figure it out. <laughs> um, I'm really sick of like going through the motions every single day. Uh, most of the things that I really enjoy to do, I don't really enjoy anymore because I just feel like I have to like get them done and then I can like go to bed. <laughs> Like, for example, today I woke up at 10 in the morning after getting 12 hours of sleep. 12 hours of sleep. I woke up at 10. And then I was, like, done with everything by 5. And I was just like, okay, when can I go to bed now? Craving a drink. Like, <clears throat> so. 
I'll be trying to find a healthy relationship with wine. Looking forward to my vacation next week. I'm very excited. I need to get off of social media. I think I'm scrolling too much. I used to not scroll at all on social media, on like TikTok and Instagram now. I find myself staring at the wall all day long, unable to move, and I'm just like, oh, I'll just go on my phone for, I don't even, I don't even scroll for like that long at a time, but I do it periodically throughout the day all of a sudden, which I never used to do. So I really need to stop doing that. I think that's contributing to it, but I'll keep you updated. Um, I'm like, <laughs> thank God for you. Like, oh God, it looked bad. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I'm really happy I filmed today. It made me feel really good. I'm gonna vlog again before I leave for vacation because Lord knows I'm not picking up a camera or my phone while I'm on vacation. It's just not happening. So I'm gonna vlog again before I leave, but thank you so much for listening to me. And I'm sorry I didn't do Vlogmas. I just really can't do it every day. Like, I only have so much energy to give myself. Like, talking is a lot for me. So I, Vlogmas just, that sounds like a, like a heavy, I don't know how people do Vlogmas. Vlog every day and edit every single day and I don't have an editor, like it's just me. I don't want anyone to edit my videos. I edit my own videos. As you can see, because I don't do shit. And <laughs> I don't care for the crazy editing shit, but um, I love you so much. Thank you for, thanks for being you. Um, if you want to follow my TikTok and Instagram, it's Tara's World, my OnlyFans, which I, I'm always present on OnlyFans. It's, it's Tara's World or Tara's Tits. Um, I have merch out. I'll link it down below. I have a phone case out. I'll link that down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to fuel my ego and my heart and soul. I love you guys. Um, comment something fun. I'll be responding to comments all day. I'm going to go to bed and talk to my crush and forget all the events that happened today and try to be better in the morning. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have to pee like a bitch. Uh, I gotta pee, right? Okay, I already ended the vlog, um, but I'm gonna insert this some sometime earlier. I'm so sick of people telling me to be mysterious. I'm so sick of it. My father tells me all the time, like my friends tell me all the time, like Tara, just be more mysterious. I don't want to be mysterious. That's not me. Like I like to just talk. I'll tell you my whole life. Like I don't. Like I just don't care. It's just not me. But everyone's just always telling me to be mysterious. I'm like, I don't care to be mysterious, like, at all. If I feel like being mysterious, I will be, but I never do. That's all. I'm so sorry for the interruption of your program.